Hey, 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 Bass Brothers Fishing DMV back at it again. Today we are out at a remote reservoir and out here is absolutely beautiful. This is the first time we're fish out on. here. Oh my gosh, fish on the intro. <laughs> <laughs> first time for everything. I didn't set the hook very well. Small and it's mouth. a small mouth. Small mouth. <laughs> small mouth. On the intro, guys. All right, on the intro. All right, we, we can't rehearse this. All right, so. I challenged Warren, I said, look, you always catch the fish, get the first fish in this boat at this reservoir. We're out here for the first time. He's been fishing like, what, 10 minutes? Yeah, maybe that. And pull this smallmouth right here. Ooh, watch almost that. Almost got me. Almost got a hook in the hand. We're not doing that today. So there you have it, guys. That's our intro. New reservoir, absolutely beautiful. Smallmouth. Smallmouth is in the boat. Skunk is off the boat. Let's have some fun, man. This place is absolutely amazing looking. Let's get at it. Yes, sir. Well, right, guys, my first ever smallmouth here. We're at a new reservoir for us and a new species for me. Fish came on, jumped on. Actually, there was another one following this one when this one took it. So my first smallmouth, it's a little dink, but guess what? I'm happy I got on a new species today. And I asked him earlier if this was a reservoir with new species for us, at least. Well, multi-species. And there we go. We got a smallmouth. I threw it up near the bank. Drag it back into deeper, and there he was. All right, yeah, first smallmouth. Oh, took off. We've had some luck with this uh, bay lately. Nimes, those are a deeper, bigger one than this one. I started out small. Maybe that's why I got small. A smallmouth on a smaller gizzard shad crankbait. So we're going to go back over there because there was one that was trailing that one. That's why you in the boat, man. Just make sure when we fish our first tournament, you catch them too. What an exciting start to the day, Warren's fish catch. I got the jerk bait tied on. I'm gonna try to jerk it out. We just saw a two pounder swim right past the boat. That was interesting. Don't see that too often for summertime. But yeah, this morning has been very eventful out here at this new spot. Boat ramp is absolutely horrible. Watch one guy get stuck, then I almost flooded the boat before I even got it launched completely. Almost flooded it at the boat ramp. Forgot to plug the boat. So needless to say, uh, all of that is wet. The water went all the way up to three quarters of the boat was filled with water. Uh, that'll be a good test for everything that I've, all the work I've put into this boat to protect me from stupid stuff like that. Also last week I got caught in a rainstorm and the boat got super wet trying to drive home through that. Definitely putting this boat to a test. Everything is passing with flying colors, thankfully. We're at a brand new spot and well, just make the best of it, you know. It's really good to catch something quick, especially when you're on a lake for the first time. A little confidence booster. Warren's up front driving the boat. I'm in the back chilling on this big, big deck. I might stay back here all day. This reservoir is over a thousand acres, so we got a lot of ground that we can fish. And brought the old trolling motor from the Pelican Bass Raider as backup in case we need a little bit extra juice or need power to get back to the boat ramp. Fish on. I don't know what that is though. Small. Yep. Oh, whoa, 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 relax dude. All right guys, another little small mouth. Teeny little guy. He's all of what, seven inches? <laughs> God, they're pretty, man. Uh, this fish is so pretty. Uh, <laughs> how, how is that, guys? Two smallmouth, first two catches, first time catching smallmouth. And this is really cool, really cool way to break in being at a new spot. Of course, Warren's on it. That's how he does, man. That's how he does. <laughs> try it, try it, try it. That's how he does. That's why he's here. Let's get him back in later, bye. And off he goes. Fish one. Small. Another small mouth. Nope. No, what is that? Bluegill. Huh. Yeah, a little fatty. <laughs> He's got all kinds of troubles in him. I right, guess so we've got two species now. Naim told me I had to catch four fish. I'm on number three. <laughs> it's actually a sunfish though, isn't it? Yeah, it the blue. Nice. Alright, 
There you go, I can even lip this bluegill. Yeah. Species number three. I mean number two, fish number three. Nice little sunfish. Alright buddy, off you go. Yeah, I saw you looking. What is this? What is this? A little stri <laughs> striper? That's the same thing we keep picking up at, um, yeah. at Rocky. Looks like a little striper. Stop, because you're going to... Oh, you're ripping up your side, dude. Anyway, bro, I, you got to figure that one out. We did a quick release on that last fish because he was foul hooked and he was in bad shape. So we need to get him back in the water as quickly as possible because that hook was uh, doing him a little injustice. Got one. Yep. Coming up. Largey. Nope, small again. No, large. No, small. <laughs> Could, I'm like large, small, large, small. Small mouth on the drop shot. Wow. Third smallie. How many know he's going to go buck wild? Third yep, another smallmouth guy. Small guy, smallmouth. He's from beautiful fish, man. All right, buddy, thanks for biting. Send your bigger cousin next time. Well, guys, it has been a smally type of a day. Caught two on the gizzard shed. This one was on a green pumpkin uh, robo worm drop shot. He's out pretty deep. Dropped it down to the bottom and he took it. That was at least, I think, 30 feet out there, right? Because I remember uh, saying I was going to let it fall. This water is super clear, guys. You can just see right through it. You can look at the trolling motor in the water. You can't even tell it's in the water. Absolutely crystal clear water. Guys, we came up to the northern side of the lake. Try to find some fish up here. There's no one up here. Absolutely beautiful up here, though. No fish, but worth the scenic view. Looks really cool. Should be a bass hung up in the shade, man. Mm, that was a stick. I was waiting for one more pull. <laughs> one more tuggy tug. Yep. What was that? Uh, well, it, did, it didn't break at the leader. Uh, luck ran out in that size. They actually made a five inch one, but I, that's too big. Gotcha. Nice. Another, another uh, small one. Smally heaven, man. Hey, he's fighting. Those are some feisty buggers. He's barely hooked. Let me see. Another small. Another smally. Man, this is a smally day, guys. I lose a bait, you catch a fish. Yep, there he is. There he is. Oh, he took your bait. Yes. When I said the hook, it broke. He's he's swimming around, he's with, swimming around with your your bait. Let me catch his buddy. Warren just caught one. Broke off. The fish jumped out the water. Still has the bait in his mouth. He's gonna have to throw that bait at some point. I'm trying to go behind him and catch his buddy. We were actually looking for shaded banks earlier, but everything we found had grass. This one doesn't have as much grass. So we're able to get these crankbaits through here, which is working out pretty good. Well, for Warren, not me. I'm still goose egg on the struggle bus. So I've been on a mission to break my one fish a day streak I'm on, and I'm not proud to be on that streak at all. And I've actually gone out quite a few times and still only gotten one fish trying to break this streak. Of course, didn't post those videos because y'all don't want to see that. Today, I just want to catch a fish. Guess I'm being taught a lesson. Don't be picky. Be grateful for what you get. Because you might get nothing. Mm-hmm. Nope. There he goes. My one fish for the day. He jumped towards me. Yeah. He hit it. Right in that corner, right there. 
That was my one fish for the day, guys. That's my first bite after seven hours of fishing. And he came off. I forgot what that felt like. Oh. <laughs> I've had a heartbreaking day, guys. But this guy slayed it. I don't know, what'd you get? How many? Six. Got four smallmouth. My first smallmouth was today. My second, third, and fourth smallmouth was today. And then I also got a bluegill, a little bluegill, and either it's, uh, looked like it was a white bass or a striped bass, one of the two. But yeah, good day for me. I know, man. So, hey, I've been on a one fish, one, one fish a day streak for a long time. Today I hit the goose egg, hooked up on one and lost it, go figure. But it's all good. I had a good time. It was great to get out on a new body of water and actually catch some fish and a new species. So can't ask for nothing more than that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Check us out on IG, post a lot of content there as well. That's not on this channel. Also, leave us a comment, guys. Love to hear from you. Give us that thumbs up if you like the video. We'll catch you on the next one. Deuces.